Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Suzanne Gunderson, founder of Screen Right Now. I'm an inner story coach that helps screenwriters and creatives to be able to naturally de-stress and get focused, build tremendous confidence, and deepen their emotional worldview into wisdom and truth. That way they can hook every audience. So today's video is a part of what I call my industry wisdom bit series, where I bring to you professionals in television and film to have them share with us one golden nugget of advice or wisdom that's worked to help them in their career and maybe can help you in yours too. So I'm here today joined by Denise Cruz Casino. So thank you, Denise, so much for being here. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, I'm a Latina writer and I write mostly comedies. Uh, I write feature and TV. I have um, written some horror and that was sort of by accident because horror scares the heck out of me. <laughs> um, and um, I even just finished uh, my first uh, World War II drama, which was really cool. I really enjoyed writing that. My first movie um, that got produced was called Five Weddings and it premiered in Cannes in 2018 and it co-starred Bo Derek and Candy Clark. And I'm currently working on a um, family comedy with Josephson Entertainment, and we're getting ready to shop that. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, family comedy. That sounds good. We need some laughter in the world. We do. We do. <laughs> I know. That's why I like writing comedies. Love it. Yeah, such a swing from horror, but I guess that was just kind of a, <laughs> uh, just a phase of your life that's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. So you have so much experience and I'm sure you've got so much advice and wisdom that you could share, but could you just narrow it down to just some golden nugget for us? Sure. Yeah. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the journey for writers, because I think we have this misconception that we're supposed to succeed like right away. Like we're going to write like one script and it's just going to sell and we're going to be, you know, hired by every studio. And I just want to mention that it's OK if that doesn't happen, because that's so rare. It's mm -hmm. so rare. Um, really, it's a journey and we have a lot to learn. I mean, just because you write your first script and it's from fade in to fade out and it's a you know 90 page script, that doesn't mean you're ready to be a screenwriter or a successful screenwriter. So I just want writers to know that it, it may take some time and, you know, don't focus on what success other writers have. If you see someone, it takes them five years or, you know, whatever their journey is, two years, whatever, don't worry about it. Just focus on your own journey and, you know, take the classes, read the books, you know, be in writing groups and just constantly focus on getting better. Don't compare yourself to any other writers because, you know, I did that too. And in the beginning I was like, oh, I hope by this point I've, you know, sold something and maybe I sold something small, but it wasn't, my career didn't take off. And there's just a lot of steps to that journey. Like I sold something in 2018 to Disney, a, a short, but it didn't take, my career didn't take off. And, and, you know, my, even my movie that came out, like my career didn't take off. There's so many jumping points. And even then when you get that WGA card, even the writers that are like constantly, that's their full-time job. Even they say they're constantly getting, you know, what's that next job? What's that next gig? And so, you know, it's not like you enter some like, you know, special club and it's like, welcome, you will be here forever. It's like, you're constantly <laughs> having to like work on your craft and work on your skills. So instead of like, you know, focusing on another writer's success, just, mm -hmm. just focus on your own journey and, and, and don't be stressing about it. And that leads into something else I wanted to talk about too, was, was your thought process in this. And like, I, I'm a real big um, proponent of, um, you know, your thoughts creating reality and, and, um, you know, really, I agree. Uh, yeah, right. And, um, you know, what are, what are, one of the books that I love was um, by Jack Canfield and it's, um, the success principles. I don't know if it's a book that you know, but um, that really helped me sort of earlier on in my writing. And we have these thoughts in our head about, um, you know, these, we're more, fear, I guess, fearful of, um, of success than we are failure. And so we, we block ourselves. Maybe it's something we heard when we were a child or, you know, something we hear from our siblings or something, you know, we have friends that don't want us to succeed and, oh, I don't want to succeed because they might not want me to succeed. Or, you know, we have these thoughts and, and it gets in the way of us of actually succeeding. So this book was a really good book for me because it really helps you understand why you don't want to succeed. And then on top of that, not only that is what are our thoughts with, like, what are we putting out there? What are we constantly, oh, I'll never make it. Oh, it's going to take forever. 
or, you know, there's these thoughts we have in our head that like, we don't realize that it's going out into the universe, you know, and it's even like the, um, Jim Carrey had a story and went on Oprah and he talked about how he wrote himself a $10 million check and would carry it in his wallet. And he would overlook Hollywood and say, I'm going to have a career. I'm going to be very successful. And, and he was, you know, so we have to have those thoughts where we see it's going to happen. And it doesn't mean you, you can't do the work. I think people, um, confuse the fact that when you have those thoughts of, you know, your alignment and creating reality with your thoughts, they think, oh, I don't have to do the work. I don't have to write a script. No, you can't just say, I'm going to be a successful screenwriter and I've never done the work. You have to do both, you know? And um, I think that's really important is to have the, the, the right thought process and, and to feel it, to know it's coming, to know it's coming and know it's on its way, but don't worry about when it's on its way. And I think right. with both of those things, I think you can get there. Yeah, I love that. So the, you know, knowing that the journey is a bunch of stepping stones that never ends, never even when ends. you think you've made it, it just, yeah. you're just going to keep growing in deeper connection with yourself to be able to write better and better and better in different types of scripts or um, even, you know, um, and then aligning the, 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 the mindset and the, the thinking with it that way, you just, you know, you don't push the river. <laughs> You know, you stay in the present moment and you keep right. your creativity flowing and you honor your voice and, um, you know, you be good to yourself, no matter what the big bad world says out there. I mean, the big bad world is going to try and take you down. So, right, right, yeah, right. I mean, I love a uh, Marion Williamson has a great quote says, you know, who are we not to be great? You know, we're just so trained to kind of suppress ourselves. And the reason why we're so, you know, air quotes, you know, fear of success is because we're afraid that we're going to leave our pack. And if we leave our pack, then who do we belong to next? And, mm -hmm. you know, will that pack be still there for us if we've, if we're so changed. So, um, but yeah, we're just going to, if we just keep, I call, my motto is just keep growing, right. but I, I capitalize the word going within the word growing to help us know that we can just keep moving forward. And that's yeah. what we're doing. Just yeah. Keep. Yeah. And just do it because you love it. Just do the writing journey. Just, you know, it, 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 the process is what it is and stop judging it. You know, don't judge, oh, if something didn't happen just witness it. You know, sometimes we just have to be the witness of our successes and our failures and know it's all part of that journey. I, I, I had some successes early on and then I see now they didn't turn into something bigger, but they did because they prepared me for where I'm at. So it's like, instead of being like, oh, this opportunity didn't happen. Well, there's a reason that didn't, opportunity didn't happen because maybe it's happening for something that's going to help you now. Yeah, sorry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. I really appreciate sure. it. And I hope everybody watching gets uh, some information and, and advice out of that and takes Me it to too. heart. And uh, so how can we find out more about what's going on with you now? And where can we connect with you? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm very active on Twitter. So you can find me at my Twitter account, which is at Cruz Writer, C-R-U-Z Writer. And um, also I have a website, denisecruzcastino.com, or you can look me up on IMDb, which is also Denise Cruz hyphen Castino. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to put all those links in the description box of this video so everybody can awesome. take a look there. And uh, and please, everybody who's listening, go to my website, screenrightnow.com and download your free ebook copy of three steps to get pitch ready. That way you can be comfortable and confident in front of every audience. So thank you so much, Denise, for being here. And I will see everybody thank on you. the next Industry Wisdom Bit.